In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to create our own patterns for use in Photoshop. In the last episode, we talked about how to make a selection, fill it or flood it with a pattern. And we went to the internet, learned how to download patterns from certain websites that are free for the taking, how to load them into the pattern overlay dialog box and to use them in our work. Today we're going to make our own pattern. So I'm going to start just with a blank document here and on separate layers I'm going to create a pattern. I'm going to start with a square box. I'm holding down shift and dragging out a box and I'm going to fill it, you know, let's say, with that purple color. Option delete will fill it with a foreground color and Command D will deselect that selection. So now I'm going to with my move tool selected so I can see the center of the square, I'm going to drag out guidelines to the center defining the quarter or the quadrants of the square. That way I can design within the quadrants and everything will line up when it's a pattern. The, the rule of thumb for the, a simple repeated pattern, now mind you this is the most simple thing we can do here, is that all four sides are the same thing. So I'm going to make sure that my my anything I design would doesn't overlap the edges of the purple square and thus the background of my pattern will be solid purple. So now on a separate layer I am going to using my elliptical marquee tool and holding down shift I'm going to drag out a color and I'm going to or pardon me a circle and I'm going to fill it with a light gray so option delete and command D deselects and command J will copy that. And so I'm going to take that copy and put it over here. And I'm just going to make sure that these are centered within my square, like so. So now with a new layer, I am going to, with my marquee tool, square marquee this time, I'm going to drag out a little square and fill it with the gray again. Option delete, Command D to deselect it, and now on a new layer, I am going to drag out a smaller circle and Option delete, Command D. Now, these two, I'm going to combine them together by holding down Command and choose both of them and I'm going to merge those layers together. And so now I can center those within my square, like so. And now Command J will give me another copy of those. And I'm going to drag those up here and I'm going to transform this by hold, clicking one of the transform control handles till a solid line appears, and then right or control clicking and I'm going to flip this horizontally, like so, just to, to uh, mix up my pattern a little bit. And then I'm going to select those. I'm going to have to hit Enter, Return, to set that transformation. Then holding down Command, I'm going to click the icon. And this time I'm going to, um, let's see, we'll color these a darker gray. Option delete, we'll fill those, and then Command D. So now I'm going to go ahead and clear the guides because I'm done with those now. And I can merge all of these layers together like so. So now I have one document and then with my marquee, rectangle marquee tool again, I'm going to select this thing, being careful not to select any of the white background because I don't want any of that white to show up in my repeat or else I will have like a little bits of white, or if I get a whole little, I'd have a white plaid section, which could be cool, but in this case I want it to be a solid purple background. And now I'm going to go to Edit, Define Pattern, and we'll call this Dots and Squares, and then I'm going to say OK, and once I say OK, it's automatically in my pattern um, picker area. So now Command D will deselect that. I'm actually just going to hit, go ahead and throw away that la layer. And now to test my pattern, I need to put it on something. And remember, I need to put it onto something. It can't just be on a transparent layer. It has to be on 
a, a, a selection that is colored or a selection of a photograph or something. So if I command J and copy the background layer, which is white, it actually has a white fill to it, and it's not transparent, the pattern will attach itself to that fill. It'll never show the fill, but you have to have something. So now I'm going to click on my effects icon, choose pattern overlay, it'll overlay with that horrible pattern that always defaults to, and then there's my pattern down in the bottom, the very last one. I'll choose it, click out of the chooser box, and then you can get to the slider and you can make this as big or as small as you would like. So you can scale that and when you're done say OK. And there you have it, our own pattern. And notice the background is solid purple because we did not overlap anything over those purple edges, nor did we pick up any of that white background when we chose it. I hope that helped.